All right, what we have here is the VKS Fabrication Enforcer front bumper for a Jeep JK, along with the Enforcer front skid plate, which is sold separately. We got this from Off-Road Elements. Uh, I wanna give a little shout out to them. They contacted us and made sure that we were okay with the two to three week lead time on this bumper before they processed our order, which is nice of them, you know, not everybody would want to wait that long. We didn't want an off the shelf average bumper. We wanted the VKS, so of course we were willing to wait. Uh, we're getting ready for Jeep Beach 2017, so I am kind of cutting it close, uh, considering I am prepping and painting this myself instead of having it powder coated. And the reason why is powder coat is really thick mill, mill thickness. It's, I'm not a powder coat painter. I've done heavy duty industrial paint but never powder coat, but powder coat is usually really, really thick. You know, 20, 25, maybe even 30 on the mill thickness where paint is generally around a six to 12. And therefore, if I chip the paint, it'll be a less, less of a cavity, you know, to just be like a little nick. Where a powder coat, if you take a chunk out, it's like having a pothole in your paint job. So I'm gonna do it myself. Uh, I'm going to have a three-stage paint process and then I'm going to rhino line the outside of the bumper. Uh, it's the wife's. It's for her vehicle. That's what she wants. That's what I'm going to do. Me personally, uh, I love raw metal. A real thick clear coat on this thing would be beautiful. Uh, I'll do, I'll go over some of the details and kind of show it off. I, I looked on YouTube and VKS, uh, you know, they're, they're not a real new company, but I couldn't really find anything on YouTube. Uh, BKS, I would rate in the same category with Poison Spider and uh, Crawler Concepts. <sighs> Some people might hate that. I'm sure people will comment, maybe. But you have a lot of aspects going here. This is a Stinger bumper. It is a two-inch tube instead of inch and a half. Most people have inch and a half. It has webbing for bracing, so it could be used as, you know, an actual Stinger, what it's meant for, not just for looks. Uh, fully welded, your, your, your typical shackle lugs. Everything about this is going to meet the specs of almost everything else. 316 thick, uh, carbon steel, high carbon. Uh, I mean, this is a bulletproof bumper, just like, just like all the other competitors that are making bumpers like this. Uh, I, I'm really only going to categorize this with Poison Spider and Crawler Concepts because, you know, a lot of the other bumpers, they're using a lot thinner steel and they're missing a lot of things. So here's what this bumper has. Uh, taking away the skid plate here that you see, but you can see how thick that is. There's the, the wife's Jeep right there. But you can see how thick this is. But So a lot of the competitors for the same price don't offer everything that the VKS offered. The VKS here, it has factory fog light locations. Factory fog lights so doesn't have to be aftermarket. Uh, it has fairly mount built in winch will recess down on the winch plate all welded in no bolt on and this bumper depending on the size winch that you use it will miss the vacuum pump that's on the jk's so i'm pretty sure that with the smitty belt winch since it's small enough we'll miss all that so i'm going to go through and just kind of clean up the corners they're not real sharp but paint likes to separate from sharp edges so I'm going to just kind of smooth everything out before I paint it and I'll make another video then. All right. So I finished the front skid plate just to kind of show exactly what it is I'm talking about that I'm doing. I just took the DA here, uh, you know, nothing fancy, uh, around 220 grit or so, and just kind of, I'm roughing it up as you can kind of see there in the light just to help give it an extra bite. I am using uh, an etching primer, which I would highly recommend, but this will help give it an extra extra bite with roughing up the metal. Uh, this is something that I don't think that they typically do with powder coating because powder coating is not like paint. It is a powder, obviously, and it uh, uses an electric charge to adhere molecularly to, I messed that word up, didn't I? To the, to the material. Uh, paint's a little bit different. Again, I'm not saying powder coat is not an awesome way to go. It is. It's phenomenal. It's, it's really tough. But 
painting it ourselves was a little bit cheaper, a little bit more budget minded. And again, uh, it's going to give me the ability to touch it up a whole lot easier. Uh, also, I don't know if I went into enough detail about why I picked VKS. Again, I just want to say that for what we were looking for, we had a list of things that we, we had to have. She wanted a stinger. She wanted shackles. She wanted factory fog lights. And I didn't feel like having her pay the extra money to get a fair lead mount. VKS, and you know, some people might disagree with this, but VKS was one of the only bumpers that had all of those things in one bumper. Okay? Uh, a lot of, there, there are some other companies that had some of those things, but then you had to relocate the vacuum pump or something crazy like that. This bumper had it all and the price was on par with its competitors. Again, it's, it's, you know, amazing work. Uh, the only thing I did notice on this, seeing how this front skid plate here is going to come into contact with rocks and things. It would have been nice if they had done uh, a little bit more of a filler weld on the inside of that pocket there. But structurally, it's fine. It, it is. It's it's filled on the outside. So uh, just me, you know, I, I come from a fab environment. I would have liked that maybe. Uh, but the welds, they look great. Got a, like a little pinhole right there. Again, these these are, you know, phenomenal welds. Very beefy. Uh, I like the design. <sighs> Man, I really love raw still. This, the way the heat makes the metal discolor slightly. Uh, I, I love that. So here's a look on the inside. These are the things that, you know, you wouldn't typically see on a bumper. See how they, they fill it, fill it well with it there. You know, I mean, it's, it's stout. You know, that's up inside there where the winch is going to mount. That plate's not going anywhere. You know, even the, the fog light mounts, you know, they're, they're not going to go anywhere. Everything is, is, is beef. Uh, the bolts, you see the slight coloration. What that tells me is that they've, they have welded that on the backside. So those are stout, sturdy, you know, good looking, good looking bumper. I really like it. I really like the two inch bar as opposed to a lot of the competitors one inch. And just so it's known, this is two inch DOT. Uh, oh man, I think it's eighth inch thick still. It's heavy duty. Uh, you should really, really check out their website, VKS Fab. And I'm not trying to give anyone a plug, you know, off-road elements and VKS. I don't, they're not sponsors for me, unfortunately. I just, there wasn't a lot of videos on this thing and people should know about this. The JK community alone is just huge. And this, for what it is, is a phenomenal bumper. It is kind of like a stubby bumper, but the way that that flares out, this is going to come to the very edge of the grill. So the grill's not going to be exposed. It'll be protected, but it's not going to block the, the wheels in case we ever decide to go bigger tires. You're going to have clearance. Phenomenal bumpers, man. I, I can't wait to get it done uh, and really show you. But So what I did here, I just lightly take away the edge. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. I'm just giving it a little bit of a rounded surface. I got, you know, basic tools here. This is just to lightly knock it down. I use this to go back and round it. The reason why it's, it's super flattened out is because it's going inside these ovals. And then just go over it with the DA. I even touch the edges with the DA. It helps a little bit too. Nothing basic, you know, nothing real complicated. Pretty simple. Uh, so I'm done with this one. Uh, next, obviously, is the bumper. I'll go through, get it all touched up how I like it. Uh, hopefully, I'll have time to go ahead and get my first coat of etching primer on. Uh, etching primer usually only takes, you know, just one coat. Obviously, it's, it's etching primer. It's not going to etch back into itself. So, lucky for me, I've got a nice little punching bag hanger that I can hang it from. I'm going to mask off a big area here in the garage so that I don't cover all my other stuff with paint. But 
Anyway, that's it. Uh, next video I'll take will probably be, I don't know, maybe after I do the first coat of etching primer just to kind of show what I'm talking about. But until then.